What's up YouTube? It's the Casual Air Gunner, and in the last video I showed how many feet per second each pump gets you in the Daisy A80. Well, another gun that's very similar to the Daisy A80 is the Crossman Pumpmaster 760, which is also really popular. And I also happen to own one of these. So today I'll take my chronograph and do the same test with this gun, but with both BBs and pellets, since this is a smoothbore gun that's advertised to shoot both. For the BBs, I'll be using these Daisy zinc plated steel BBs, and for the pellets, I'll use a pellet that's pretty run in the mill, which is these H&N Barracuda Greens in 177 caliber. These weigh 6.64 grains, so they're definitely not heavy, but they're not the lightest pellets out there either. Now, the box on this gun says that the Crossman Pumpmaster 760 is able to reach 645 FPS with BBs and 615 FPS with pellets. So, if the gun doesn't manage to reach the advertised velocity with either of those, I'll test it with these Gamo Air Stars which weigh 4.3 grains. So these are the lightest pellets on the market and they're actually even lighter than the steel BBs. Just like with the setup in my video with the Daisy 880, I'll have my chronograph right here with a backstop of 20% ballistics gel, which is twice the density of the normal ballistics gel used to simulate human flesh. And it's actually what NATO uses to test high-powered military rifles. So. I know it'll have no problem stopping whatever is coming out of the Crossman 760. And because this is a gun channel that emphasizes safety, I'll also back this up with a layer of Kevlar, which stops pistol caliber firearm rounds, so it'll easily stop anything that comes out of this. Because this chronograph is off wish and not your typical gun store, it measures everything in meters per second. But here in America, we prefer feet per second, so I'll be translating the reading on this chronograph from meters per second to feet per second during the editing. So for the first round, let's start with the steel BBs, and for the first shot, it'll be at three pumps. So with a change of plans, I'm actually going to change the backstop for the lower velocities until we reach about 5 pumps, because it turns out if the BBs fail to penetrate the 20% ballistics gel, they'll come right back at you with a vengeance. The one I just fired at 3 pumps ended up hitting me right in the safety glasses, and I'm actually really glad I was wearing them now. So this new backstop is going to be a box full of ballistic clay, which I know will not send the BBs coming right back at me. So here's the next shot at four pumps. Looks like even at 10 pumps and with steel BBs, the Crossman 760 still doesn't break the 600 feet per second mark. Since it didn't break the 600 feet per second mark with BBs, it's unlikely it'll do it with pellets. But I'll test them out just to see how it goes. Again, I'm testing them with these uh, 177 caliber Barracuda Greens, and these weigh 6.64 grains. So they're not especially heavy, but they're not especially light either. I'll go ahead and start the first shot at three pumps.
So the gun actually got more FPS with the pellets than with the BBs, which actually makes sense. The thing with pellets is they form a tight seal in the bore, so they're more efficient in converting the stored energy in the compressed air into energy that propels the projectile out the barrel. BBs must leave a small gap in the bore, which results in some of the energy being wasted when they're shot. So this actually gives me hope that I might be able to hit the 615 FPS mark with these ultralight pellets, which form a tight seal in the bore, but also weigh less than a BB. Alright, the moment of truth. 10 pumps with the Gamo Air Stars. So with the fastest pellet on the market, this gun gets 587 FPS, which is actually lower than I imagined. I figured the gun would get somewhere around 600 FPS with the ultra light pellets, but I guess without mods, the Crossman 760 doesn't break the 600 FPS mark regardless of ammo choice. I might opt to mod the gun in the future to see if I can get better ballistics out of it, but for now, this has been how many FPS per pump out of the Crossman 760. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, like it if you did, and check out my channel if air guns are your thing, and thank you for watching.